Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? Uh, so I want to make a video today. Uh, it might be my last chance to make a video for the rest of the week, so I figured I'd just go ahead and get a video out there, let you guys have a heads up that I, I'll be going out of town, so I won't be able to make any videos for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so let's hop right into it. This is just kind of a daily, just kind of talking about what's been going on for the last week or so in this game. Uh, one big thing is we have this Veterans of EOS event. And once you hit that tier 3, a secret tier 4 will open up. So it's 15,000 points for the secret tier 4. But check this out. It's a pretty good one to get, guys. 2,400%. Or, percent? What? I'm so used to saying percents, guys, <laughs> with weapons and stuff. So 2,400 times 10 billion VIP points. That's pretty cool. Two, uh, two 25% four hour march size increases. Those are always helpful. And 5,000 High Elixir. We haven't had a High Elixir Proving Grounds dungeon in a long time, so maybe we're due. But hey, it doesn't hurt to store up on this stuff. So yeah, that's the secret tier 4. It should open up once you hit the tier 3. So just a heads up, I know like, like uh, I wasn't even going to go for this, this tier 3 because the prizes didn't look too good. But once somebody told me it, it uh, opens up a tier 4 when you hit it, it's like, oh, I guess I got to grind for that. Uh, the best way to get points on that, if you can do the Ravis, that would be good. Uh, the, the problem is, for a lot of people, the Ravis one, it's like, you know, the uh, Trial of Heroes, or some people might have the Sanctum of Power for this one. Wh whatever Guildhall event's going on in your realm. Uh, for us, though, you need 3,400 points, and that's like 40 contracts. Yeah, at least 40 contracts. So I've used well over 20, and I'm only at 19. 50. So, yeah, there's that's almost impossible. Probably it probably is impossible if you take into account the time run. Now maybe if you have the new Warren gear, uh, so so that's a little foreshadowing. We have a, a new gear just hit our realm, though we don't have a way to get materials for it, but we can at least see it in the gear set bonuses. So it's new gear for the guild hall. This Warren Knight set gear. And it's way, way, way better than the Light Forge. Even the Light Forge powered up. Good set bonus, too. 2,000% city defense HP. Ooh, that's going to be nice, guys. So, uh, yeah, it's really good gear. I don't know how to get the materials for it yet. In our realm, there's no way to get it. But I'm sure they'll do a guild hall or a realm boss or something to get uh, the chest for this. So we'll, we'll keep our eyes open for that. But really good gear. Uh, another news, we have a realm boss going on. It is uh, Hung Legs, Hund, Hund Legs, Hund, Hund Legs, that's probably it. Um, pretty cool realm boss. Drops gold, drops platinum, drops the mats for the Necromantian gear. So we've had this realm boss before. Uh, last time it was here, I got the 8x multiplier for it. So, and then this event, I leveled up my Noctis using the XP from the test packs. So I got my Noctis to 150. Turns out for our server, 150 is still the max. Though in the older servers, you can go up to 200. You'll need the Mythic Noctis medals and a bajillion, uh, bajillion billion XP. But if you have that, you can hit level 200 on Noctis. We could look, he, uh, we can't see what his 150 to 200 skills are, but we can at least see the limit break skill, and I was kind of—I've been excited about this, trying to figure out what this is going to be, and they just opened it up. So at 151, in theory, you could get this skill. It's going to unlock an enchantment in the Arcanium, which will provide increased troop attack and HP. When Noctis is active, monsters also drop items for enchantment. Ooh, that's going to be cool. That's going to be really cool. I can't wait to get that. We just we just need the, them to open up 200 for my realm now. Come on, guys, please. <laughs> we want we want 200. Uh, so that's cool. That's the first time I've ever personally had a hero at the maximum level. I've seen other people have heroes at the maximum level. It's the first time I've ever had it at the max. I'm excited about that. So yeah, I mentioned I had the 8x multiplier for the the Hund legs realm boss and. Um, I used, so I leveled up my Noctis on it, 
probably used over 2 million MP, probably 3 million MP, maybe 4. I lose track. MP just goes so quickly. But I used all my MP. <laughs> uh, and using all my MP, I finally been able to get a, uh, I got a gold necromantine weapon. And I would highly recommend doing the weapon first. The, the limiting factor for these gear pieces is the, um, ooh, thank you, security scan. Uh, it's the book of necromancy mats. So this would be the limiting factor. Like it's tough to get these, and it's tough to get enough nightmare ores too. But uh, it'll be one of the two, either the book of necromancy or the nightmare ores. But once you got that, I would definitely go weapon first. For weapon, you also need the Forsaken Hills, but weapon's so good, guys. Look at the weapon here. Troop attack, bonus, 6689%. So 6,689%. Almost 1,000 troop armor. Plus, the coolest skill in the game is drain enemy attack into troop HP. So 12.21% of the enemy's attack is going to be your HP. It's going to drop their attack, and then your HP is going to go up. It's a swing. Uh, it'll max out at 5,988%, but what that means is if you're attacking somebody with 50,000 um, troop attack or up, you're going to get, you're going to hit that max uh, enemy drain into troop HP. So at, at the max, it's, uh, you know, 5,988 their attack's going to drop by that much, your HP is going to go up by that much. That's a 12,000% swing. That's going to be really big for crystal battles or trying to take out really strong players. That's going to make a world of difference. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, I was trying to decide, do you go the helmet or do you go the weapon first? I voted to go for the weapon because the weapon stats are quite a bit better. You get the, the troop attack, the armor is a little less, but you also get a higher uh, drain enemy attack into troop HP. So I think that's probably a better better gear piece to have. But the helmet's nice too because if you have Cindy, you can make an argument for the helmet because Cindy has her troop armor stat bonus for the helmets. So if you have Cindy and you have this helmet, you're in a good position. You're gonna you're gonna be a really good place. So that's this is the next one I'm gonna get. Also the boots I like, and the except they're all, this is just really good gear. But but the boots would be nice because I just don't have good boots. All my boots are just terrible. So if I could get these boots, which are good boots, that would be awesome. Plus you got the attack mark speed that Cindy buffs also. So if I can get the helmet, there's not enough time. But if I could get the gold helmet, then I would go boots. That's the game plan, but that gear is just epic. Plus, the gear set bonus is awesome. At green, it's 8,333%. City Assault Armor bonus applies to all your marches, not just the one with your hero. So if you're joining other people's rallies, your troops, this just skill is going to help out almost in any scenario that you're hitting other people in the game, except for crystals. So, you know, that's awesome, guys. If you can get the blue 12,000... Ooh, I'd love to get the purple, but we're going to need this Rome boss another hundred times for me to get anywhere near this. But Max is at 20k. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so whew, that's really cool, guys. What I've been doing for MP, uh, I figured I would go ahead and mention this. It's, it's kind of, this is only going to apply to a handful of you, but if you can use this, I'll tell you what it is. So what I do is uh, to, to do... So for me, right now in our server, we currently have a Ravis Guild Hall still going on. And if you get first or second on the Ravis Guild Hall, you get MP chest for Ravis. So if you have the hero in the Trial of Heroes, whatever, if you're in a newer realm, it might be like a Luna or a Prompto or an Ignis, whatever your Trial of Heroes is, if you have one, you might not have it. You might have the power of Sanctum. But if you have the Trial of Heroes and you have that hero, and you have really good Lightforge gear, and you like saying you can get first or second, or even the Warren gear, if you can get first or second, and get the MP chest. So I'm in a position that I can get first or second and get the MP chest each run. What I do is I also equip my best uh, MP recovery paragon gems. 
So if you have all the Paragon Gems slot, this is like, there's only going to be a couple of you who can use this, but I remove all my Paragon Gems from my Dreadmiss gear, I put it on my Light Forge gear, and then I just grind forever on the Trial of Heroes. That's what I've been doing. I did probably 20 runs and got it at least over 100,000 Hero MP, plus what I was regenerating on my Noctis. Uh, it seems to be a pretty good tactic. Now, we're not always going to have a Trial of Heroes Guild Hall, and, but as long as we do, I'll be doing that for sure. That's what I've been doing for Hero MP, because it's t Hero MP is so valuable right now. Uh, I've leveled up all my heroes as much as I can. I've got Noctis at max. I've got Cindy. I need more Cindy medals. I need to need more medals for all my heroes, um, except for Prompto and Luna, which I need more XP for them. Everybody else, I need more medals. I guess that's kind of how things work. <laughs> uh, and you need so much XP for Prompto and Luna in the hundreds that good luck trying to level it up, trying to get that XP without getting it by the billions, right? Like, you're never going to get there 5,000 at a time. You need billions at a time. But, yeah. So, again, this is just kind of a quick video. I just wanted to touch base with you guys. Um... You know, this isn't the worst realm boss for multipliers. I noticed a lot of people, it seems like a lot of people are like, ah, oh, it doesn't drop enough platinum, it doesn't drop enough gold. The books of necromancy drop way too seldomly. But, you know, you can get, I got a couple hundred billion platinum from this realm boss with the 8x multiplier. Now, I've been leveling up heroes on it, and I had MP stored up. So I, I always try to build up MP on all my heroes when there's not a realm boss. Uh, so, so like for instance, in a couple hours when this realm boss goes away, I'll slowly equip, change my hero, let their MP hit max, change my hero, let that MP hit max, and just try to store up MP for the next really good scenario when I can use it. And once all my heroes are max MP, I'll use Cindy, and I'll be attacking the monsters nearby. The, the shifting monsters to get monster food, but uh, pretty much I'm going to try to keep all my heroes with their MP bar filled up all the way, except for one, except for Cindy, uh, until the next good realm boss. So that's how I do it. I think that's the best tactic. Don't don't blow all your MP on the trying to get monster food when we might get a really good realm boss or another Moogle mo monster soon. So you know, as long as there's as long as you have one hero who's your active hero is building MP, you're fine, really. But but if you can if you can store up MP on your other heroes, I would do that. So as soon as this run boss is done, I'll just show you guys what I do. I'll equip. Usually I'll equip Luna and just let her bar fill up to 120. Then maybe I'll shift um, for the last little bit. Once she gets up to around 120, I'll equip these three weapons. The Noctis Daggers, Noxious Daggers, because they'll give me another 2k MP each. So that's what I do. Uh, store up MP. Once she gets to like 130, 126,000, I'll switch to the next hero, let him build up, or her build up, and boom, just rinse and repeat. And Cindy will be the last one I'll build up MP on. Once she gets 60, that's when I, when I was saying I'll go start attacking monsters again. I'll attack the shifting monsters. Or we might get a realm boss before then, in which case all their MP goes back to zero and I'll attack that realm boss. That's how I do it. I think that's a pretty good tactic. Uh, in the meantime, I would definitely keep doing the uh, Adventures Day events. A lot of them drop a contract if you hit that tier three. Uh, yeah. So, boom, that's what I've been doing, guys. Grinding like crazy. Uh, oh, we did have a RVR. And uh, I guess I'll finish off this video by talking about the strongest player in our server uh, that, that I've seen. There might be somebody who's grown beyond this guy, but we went up against Master Lynx. And this dude was a monster. Uh, Citadel 70, all his T8 unlocked, 4.3 billion power, uh, just about a 700,000 march size. He had the gold Necromantine gear. All his other gear was Archean, you know, highly leveled Archean gear. Like, 
I, I don't know if it was Max, but it was really leveled Archean gear with the Necromantian gold weapon. Uh, and he was attacking with T8 troops and fire troops and undying guardians because he had millions. So if you have millions of undying guardians, you can lose millions. That's what he was doing. Every single person I saw a battle report from, he sent just enough undying guardians that all of his other troops survived. On top of that, uh, this is this is where it got interesting. So quick, quick summary. He was doing over 300 million damage, uh, power destroyed per attack. And the reason it wasn't above that is because most people don't have more than 300 million power of troops. <laughs> he was zeroing most T7 accounts in one attack. Even T7 accounts with decent gear. Uh, I bubbled instantly. He teleported next to me. And I bubbled quicker than you could snap your fingers. I was terrified because I saw him zero somebody just as strong as me. Like, uh, they had over 100,000 City Assault armor, over 30,000 troop HP. I mean, this is a decent T7 account. 17 million T7 troops, all dead in one attack. Uh, so, so let me show you what else he had. So he had a mix of fire and uh, T8 troops. He had 30,000 of the, the Tundra Kuja. So these are a... Let's look at these guys. These are 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 16, 17. T 17, he had 30,000 of these. So you can imagine he's doing some real damage. 30,000 T bajillion troops? Come on, man. But that wasn't it. That wasn't it, guys. He also had 30,000 Kuja Dominators. And these guys are 3, 4, 5, 6, 79, 10, 11, 12. T16, so so now we're at 60,000 troops, T16 and stronger. <laughs> yeah, he was zero in T7 accounts, easy. Uh, but that wasn't it. He also had 30,000 of the, the the destroyers. So these guys aren't quite as strong. They're only T3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, They're only tier 14. But but you know when you got the best gear. When you've got 700,000 troops, and most of them are tier 9, or at least tier, they're all tier 8 and stronger. Most of them are tier 9 and stronger because they're mostly fire and these guys. So yeah, he was taking out people one hit. Uh, he, some reports I saw, he would lose 80,000. Like if he was attacking players above 1.5 billion power, he'd lose about, about 80,000. Uh, Undying Guardians, like he attacked this uh, Solano, who's a monster. This guy's a beast. He attacked Solano uh, twice, lost 80,000 Guardians, Undying Guardians each hit. So that's 160,000. Just And that was just two attacks. Like, that was nothing. He attacked for at least eight hours. So he lost probably millions of Undying Guardians. Uh, word on the street is that he spent 5k just for that one RVR. So you know you're a baller when you're dropping 5k for an RVR. But but that's what he was doing. I mean, he, he must have hit dozens of, probably, yeah, dozens and dozens of people. And he was losing anywhere from, you know, I guess I saw a lot of reports he lost 30. Some reports he lost 80. But all in all, he probably lost over a million or a couple million Undying Guardians. Uh, and that was nothing to him. So that shows you how big of a baller some people are. I don't know what his Shiva I'm guessing a Shiva was maxed because it had over 6,000 uh, 6, Shiva HP. It might have been over 7,000. But yeah, basically that means he can attack anybody. And he's never going to have his hero capped. He was that strong. For our server, it's unbelievable. Uh, our packs aren't that good. I know in the older servers, more and more people are starting to get T8. But in our server, there's only a handful of people with T8. And the people that do have T8 have spent, you know, well over twenty thousand dollars. So it's it's no, uh, you know, it's no small matter to have T8 for our server. I'm sure he's dropped well over 100k, probably more than that, probably 150, 200k on this game. Uh, maybe maybe way more. I don't know, guys. But uh, Master Links, he's a beast. You know, when you're zeroing people, t good people with one hit. 
you're doing all right. <laughs> he must be a CEO or something. Probably, probably links us. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I was having fun watching people who are normally the aggressors, like people who are normally zeroing other people. We're getting zeroed with one hit. Truly epic. Uh, I, I, this is the first time I've ever seen this. So somebody had to, uh, in our realm had the crystal, right? He went and he attacked that person holding the crystal in one hit, zeroed them. And then with their next attack, they attacked the crystal and then zeroed the crystal. So in two hits, they he captured the hero and destroyed all the troops of the person holding the crystal. <laughs> That's insane. It's the first time I've seen somebody's hero captured while holding the crystal. So like the hero was in the crystal, the crystal was maxed, this guy solo marched the crystal, killed everything in it, and captured the hero. I've never seen that. I've seen people lose their hero trying to capture the crystal, but I've never seen somebody lose their hero once they already had the crystal. So that's Master Link's 4.3 billion power. Uh, I'm pretty sure all his heroes are maxed. Probably Shiva's maxed. I couldn't find his expansions, but they got to be pretty much all near 20, if not 20. And he's got to have a high wonder to have over, well over 600,000 mark size, almost 700. Uh, and that was in our realm, so that wasn't, if he had any mark size titles, they weren't applied at that moment. So he might have had well over that in his own realm, because I'm sure he owns, owns all the titles in that realm. And there are titles like uh, Mark Size Increase that we had a while back. But if he had those, they didn't apply while he was in our realm. He's still at almost a 700k mark, mark size. He zeroed Trackhawk, who was our last Supreme Emperor, uh, who got that special weapon, that awesome weapon. He zeroed him. Lord knows how many M dying guardians it took, but he zeroed that Citadel 69. Crazy guys, absolutely crazy. So yeah, <laughs> that was our RVR. We definitely lost that. I think in one attack he probably got more points than our entire realm did. But that's it. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I'm gonna try to try to throw some more videos out at you guys, uh, but it'll be at least a week, or maybe I'll get one before I leave town, but probably when I get back. I want to do a bunch, of, a bunch more videos where I test out, I want to test out different Shiva combinations, so reskill her and try out many different combinations of skills with Shiva. I'd like to do that. I would also like to test out a bunch of different combinations of elemental troops for attacks. So that'll be to come, but it'll be at least a week. In the meantime, guys, take it easy, grind, and uh, I'll talk with you guys soon. Peace out.